significant health office. As such, you are to perform the following duties and responsibilities. Number one, take charge of the operations and management of the PHO. Formulate program implementation guidelines, rules and regulations for the operations of the office for approval of the governor, as the case may be, in order to assist her in the efficient, effective, and economical implementation of health services program geared to implementation of health-related projects and activities. Number three, formulate measures for the consideration of the Sangunian and provide technical assistance and support to the governor as the case may be in carrying out activities to ensure delivery of basic services and provision of adequate facilities relative to health services as provided under Section 17 of the Local Government Code. Number four, develop plans and strategies and upon approval thereof of the governor, as the case may be, implement the same, particularly those which have to do with health programs and projects, which the governor is empowered to implement and which the Sangunian is empowered to provide for under the Local Government Code. Number five, in addition to the foregoing duties and functions, you shall formulate and implement policies, plans, programs, and projects to promote the health of the people of the province of Lana del Norte. Advise the governor, as the case may be, and the Sangunian on matters pertaining to health. Execute and enforce all laws, ordinances, and regulations relating to public health. Recommend to the Sangunian through the local health board the passage of such ordinances as deemed necessary for the preservation of public health. Recommend the prosecution of any violation on, on sanitary laws, ordinances, or regulations. Direct the sanitary inspection of all business establishments selling food items, items or providing accommodations such as hotels, motels, lodging houses, pension house, and the like in accordance with sanitation code. Conduct health information campaigns and render health intelligence services. Coordinate with other government agencies and non-governmental organizations involved in the promotion and delivery of health services and exercise general supervision of our health officer of the municipalities. Number six, be in the front line of the delivery of health services, particularly during and in the aftermath of man-made and natural disasters and calamities. Number seven, exercise general supervision and control motivation, direction, performance evaluation, disciplinary action, and recognition over the personnel of the PHO. And number eight, exercise such other powers and perform such other duties and functions as may be prescribed by law or ordinance. In view hereof, you are entitled to a representation and travel allowance, RATA, in the amount of 16,100 pesos. Any issuances inconsistent herewith are hereby revoked, Amended and or modified accordingly. Faithful compliance is hereby enjoined. Effective January 9, 2023. Signed, Imelda Kibranza de Maporo, Provincial Governor. Congratulations. We request the Board or the Provincial Administrator to hand over the special order as well as our incoming. Uh, Dr. Christy Joy Indo for the PHO. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause, please. We will hear a message from our acting provincial administrator. Good afternoon, sa lahat. Good afternoon. Doc, good afternoon, and congratulations, no? But anyway, so I know na may uh, na ano ba? Medyo it's a complicated na position of the PHO because it involves a lot of work. And I know for a fact, no, I'm just being frank. No? I know for a fact that no, we have a uh, few problems within this office in terms of relationship, which I don't want to happen sa Ana. No? But then, as long as hindi siya nakaka-apekto sa entirety ng trabaho, no? then that's okay with us. No? Uh, we know na we know na ano to na somehow somewhere maybe if there's misunderstandings hindi kayo nagkakaroon ng coherence sa trabaho niyo but anyway as long as the result is okay and the the end result is okay then we are fine with it no? hindi naman may iwasan yung mga so si Doc Indo we hope na uh, 
siyempre, you give him her the respect that you gave Dr. Obame, Dr. Obame, and I hope that you support her because again, we are not just working within the four corners of your rooms, but we are working for the entire province. And probably we also represent the province outside uh, outside in other uh, other provinces or perhaps other uh, within the country. So we hope, no, uh, I may not know you too well, no, I, I did not know uh, personally, but then uh, I, I'm just hoping uh, you'll give Dr. Indo the respect and the, I don't know, the industry, uh, you'll be industrious to help her para improve yung 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 and I know that you're doing uh, well with it, but we need further work. Uh, we were told earlier, no, uh, by Anagmiti uh, Kamini Gov Kanina, and she said to me, uh, I think tuberculosis is medyo, we are, uh, no, makiyak the instances of tuberculosis sa atin. I think, ang sabi nila, from round 9, we're already round 4, no? Parang ganyan, yun yung statistics na binigay kay Gov. So, she told me na what to look into it, perhaps na kung ano yung But, nevertheless, I know that you are in good hands. I know that you'll help her. So, just work hard and <laughs> I know si Dr. Indok is very ano ko, competent to do the work. No? So, congratulations Doc and congratulations sa inyo and have a good day to all. Thank you so much, Attorney Mark Christopher Bobo. At this point in time, we we'll hear um, acceptance message and a response from, of course, our PHO, acting PHO, Dr. Tracy Joy India. Good afternoon, everyone, especially to our acting admin, Attorney Bobo, and to all the department heads. Um, ako ka open speech. Oh, good afternoon, everyone. So today is such a wonderful and a blessed day. So it's full of surprises. <laughs> so the surprise ng ako. Um, today I'm standing in front of you. So completely honored, no? Um, and I am very thankful for your support, warm welcome, and the flow. <laughs> na ako, na kaya na ako. So. Um, um, growing up no, in the province of Lalo del Norte, I always dreamed of becoming a doctor. So, in order for me to serve my hometown, so never did I imagine that I would be standing here in front of you. No, uh, I grew up very shy. So, ako ang dili mo makita, the invisible one sa mga classroom. So, pero I'm taking this as a challenge. And I know that everyone na naadirihin, ako mga workmates are very kind of dedicated. No? They are all dedicated healthcare workers. And we will work together hand in hand uh, for us to provide the best quality services to the people of Lano de Norte. So I am very thankful to, to everyone, especially to to our uh, uh, God, to our governor, Ma'am Imelda and Dean de Maporo, uh, for this kind of opportunity. No, Thank you very much, and to all of you, thank you so much for this opportunity. Good afternoon. Okay. Uh, may I call on the, uh, all the PHO staff to introduce yourself. <laughs> 